particle versus wave. What is particle? What is wave? Let's talk about it. Uh, particle, anything that has mass and has volume, matter. <laughs> so, I think we learned how this before. So, particle has mass and its position in space can be specified. So, you know what it is? In contrast, wave, massless. So, no mass and it, it's, uh, de it is delocalized, so which means that uh, they don't stay in the same place. Now, you can't really, you don't know what it is ex ex uh, exactly. Can't specify. And, um, and the reason for that, because they move quickly, like at light speed. I mean, it's really hard to specify where width is. Uh, these are probably the uh, width that you are familiar with. We have a radio, microwave, uh, infrared, visible, UV, X-ray, and gamma ray. And the energy rank uh, comes from uh, low energy radio wave and up to high energy X-ray and gamma ray. You guys, I'm pretty sure you know about it. And uh, the visible light, so we have basically it's a rainbow. So we have a <clears throat> red, which is the lowest energy, up to uh, blue and violet has a high energy. And all this we call electromagnetic spectrum. Okay. All right, let's talk about the property of web, uh, webs real quick. So webs <clears throat> uh, has a perpendicular oscillating electric field and magnetic field. So web has, uh, this, let's say, that's an uh, electric field and the magnetic field is perpendicular to the electric field. But well, I don't really care about that. It's just once uh, not not as important uh, uh, property that we're going to talk about. Uh, the radiant energy moved through space. The wave can move through space, right? And that's the uh, uh, reason why you, if someone talking real loud uh, in the next door, you can hear it. <laughs> so it can go through objects, all right? Uh, wave, of course, have wave length, which is the length of one cycle. I'll take a look right here. So. Let's say the one cycle core, let's say if you start right here, one cycle is right there. Okay. That's a length of one cycle. That's a, um, that's a web length. Okay. It's defined as a web length. You can measure it from, uh, from the, what do you call like the, the, the top of the heel or the bottom of the heel. They're the same thing. Okay. And webs have frequency. All right. Frequency is defined as the number of cycle per second. I right, go back here. So web length is the, length of one cycle but now is how many cycle that uh, this wave can pass through in one second for example let's say if that is one second okay that long how many cycles are there um, let's say one second one two and three so this wave oscillate three times per one cycle right per uh, per second so i said wrong three times per second so the unit of frequencies per second. So that's three times per second, or we call it Hertz, All right? Hertz, that's a, a, a scientist name, Hertz. Not the, uh, the, uh, the car rental thing, no. So um, uh, another one, so uh, uh, what's the frequency of the web at the bottom here? Can you count for me? All right, let's say that's one second. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So this, the frequency of this web is what? Six hertz, all right, or six per second. Okay. All right. Let's take a look. Take a look at all the electromagnetic spectrum here. <clears throat> okay. So I'll start with the uh, low energy to high energy. So the low energy one. So we got a uh, radio, microwave, infrared, and higher energy we have visible out uh, UV, X-ray, and gamma ray. All right. And um, <clears throat> if you look at the now ah, right here. Okay. Oh, hold on. If you look at the, uh, the frequency, all right? So frequency, the radio, uh, oscillate about 10 to the four time to 10 to the six time. That's a million, 10,000 to million times per second. That's how many cycles they go through in one second. That's quick. But the gamma ray is much quicker, 10 to the 24th, uh, cycle per second. Hertz, is it in hertz? Okay. That's really quick. That's because they have, it has high energy. So energy and frequency goes together. High energy, they have they have high frequency. But uh, the wave length kind of go reverse, right? The high energy one, they have a really really short wave length. That's why they can oscillate real quick, right? The low energy one, radio, microwave, infrared, they have long wave length. Okay, that's a lot. Ten to the fourth. Uh, Meter, is it in meter? I think it's in meter. In meter, good. Me, uh, meter um, per one cycle, all right? And, uh, but we usually, uh, the un 
the the popular unit of wave is actually nanometer we usually use it for uh, visible light so 750 nanometer for the red and for the purple uh, or violet 390 um, nanometer okay so that's a there's a long wavelength low in energy and a short wavelength oscillate real quick high in energy all right all right <clears throat> wavelength and frequency uh james we have james clerk maxwell okay he's the one who relayed uh the wavelength and and, uh, and frequency these, these two are relayed right so if you look at the first one right here so first web i'm sure you can see that this guy have a longer wavelength than the bottom web right the red web right here uh, so they have a lot uh, longer wavelength and that means they have a low frequency but if you look at the bottom this guy have short uh, short wavelength so they oscillate real quick high frequency okay so wavelength and frequency are um conversely proportional so that's the frequency that's the wavelength and c is the speed of light okay speed of light and uh, maxwell uh come up came up with the uh this equation to relay the wavelength and frequency okay all right uh what you have to be to be able to do is to use this equation and calculate either wavelength or a frequency all right i'll just do this one for you but if you know how to do it go for it don't don't wait for me okay all right what is the frequency of the yellow orange light so that light right there uh with a wavelength of 589 nanometer uh produce sodium vapor street like whatever but uh five frequency what is this super symbol there so if you want to find if you want to find frequency which is right here frequency you need to know the value of the speed of light and the wavelength okay the speed of light is a constant which is three times 10 to, to the eighth meter per second and the wavelength is given 589 nanometer put down here all right uh but watch out though so the unit is not the same so you have to convert nanometer to meter i'm sure you can do that uh but the way i'm going to do it is here so if some of you remember what is the uh what what does nano mean anyone here remember now Nan nano mean 10 to negative ninth right which is small really small uh, reverse from the giga that's 10 to the ninth okay so i just uh replaced nano with 10 to the negative ninth because that's a its value all right and then we have meter and meter you can cancel them out easily and guess what look at the uh, unit that, le that is left over per second which is the unit of um uh wavelength no frequency i said i said wrong frequency okay and you do the math right there so you should guess for uh, uh, the unit of per second or hertz at the end all right do the math so um coefficient with coefficient um the multiplier with multiplier okay so three over uh 589 so you get that number and 10 to negative third 10 to the eighth uh over 10 to negative nine you would get 10 to 17 all right and uh do the math right here uh, so three six fix make sure you get three six fix there so round down so 509 times 10 to the 14 all right 10 to negative third uh, times 10 to negative 17. So it's 17, uh, negative third plus 17, you get 14 there in hertz, all right? Uh, one thing that I want to point out, when you do calculation like this, please, please, please leave the unit. I want to say one more time, leave the unit, show the unit. So you should be able to get to the unit that you want. Whatever, let's say you, you find a web link, the last the final unit has to be in meter or nanometer if you will uh find the frequency the last unit should be per second right or hertz all right if somehow if you put the unit in and somehow you do calculation and you don't get the right unit it tells you something wrong it's kind of like a double check for you so please 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 from now on please add the unit in here okay so you want to see the unit cancel out like that you will see later that there'll be a more complicated um calculation and that's when unit gonna come to play so promise me put unit in here just for your safety and in in my experience you want to put a unit in okay so make sure i say it many times now put the unit in here all right leave the unit all right all right now go to the father of uh with max Planck on the next video